Hello. Good morning. Morning. Afternoon. Oh, fuck. Look at all these languages. Is it... I was going to say, I wondered if it was going to go off the screen and scroll. When, when do I... English is the biggest one. Okay, English. Uh, just scour until left flow is hardly visible. Correct. Christ, you've got a whole fucking screen and you chose that much to put fucking writing in and I couldn't even fucking read it. Suicide, infanticide, murder, harm to minors, psychological something. Didn't get a chance to fucking read it. Fuck's sake. Right. Bramble, the Mountain King. Wonder if there's a way of going back and reading all those snowflake warnings. New game. Nightmare woke him up. Him? Frightened by his mother's bedtime story. He searched for his sister's comfort. But she was nowhere to be found. Hmm. Was that it? I gotta take control now, have I? Right, okay. Right, so that highlights. Okay, I can see kind of how this is gonna work. Then it's gonna have these, for some reason, there's gonna be these glowy little dots to help me find my way, is it? Like some sort of children's version of the game. Okay, X. Okay, I've got to highlight each individual item now, all right? No. X. Oh, I'm just examining it. I'm not. Oh, you twat. What do I can do that for? Okay, some sort of forest of monsters then. Just invert these fucking controls. Game controls. Invert Y. Thank you. My X. Breckles. Okay. Sister's gone missing, and he's busy smiling and playing with toys. Right. Yes, let's go to every individual light and find out what it is. So his name is Ollie, and his sister's name is Lima. Lilima? Yeah, if you go on your tiptoes, you'll be taller. Well done. Ah, okay, let's see what over here now. X. There once was a girl who snuck out of her bedroom window at night, even though her mother had told her not to. 
She went into the forest, and at first it welcomed her with warmth and a promise of adventures. But soon the forest seemed to grow colder and darker. The girl was afraid, and she wanted to go home. But Bramble crawled around her arms and legs, and she could not get away. And the girl was never seen again. Is that it? Is that the end of the book? How much did they pay for that book? Um, yeah, that was a bit fucking horrible. That is what happens when you do not listen to your mother. Especially you, Lilimoor. Their mother had said before kissing them goodnight. Okay. Well, somebody didn't childproof that window, did they? Who are parenting? Right. Hang on. So this is highlight. The others didn't re-highlight after seeing them. But this book did. And the window over there. No, you can't see that. Because... Fucking stupid faced man was in the way. Right, try again. There once was a girl who snuck out of her bedroom window at night, even though her mother had told yeah. her she went into the Yeah. But soon the girl was afraid and the girl was never seen again. Why is the book re-highlighted, though, is it? That is what happens when you do not listen to your mother. Especially you, Lilimoor. Their mother had said before kissing them goodnight. It's as if the book wants you to read it more than once, but it's actually re-showing you the same fucking dialogue. Oh, and now there's... No, it's not. It's literally the... Same thing. Where are all the matches gone that I tipped out on the floor? Ah. The darkness outside scared him. Not being with his sister scared him even more. Okay. Okay. Well, I hope this picks up the pace because this is somewhat fucking boring. The nearby forest was a familiar place during the day. However, do but at night, it was a different story. Yeah, took your time to get to that one, didn't you? There was no trace of Lilimur, and Ulle wished he could ask the pine cones if they had seen her. That'd be a bit fucking stupid. What I don't like is this whip. But if the pine cones knew about her fate, they kept it to themselves. They're fucking pine cones! The way that they do in these sort of things, whereby it's Linen Mor, Mor, all that kind of stuff. Fucking hell. Uh, 
right so you can't really adjust it so that you're ch just doing like a chase cam thing you've got to wind and turn with the flow what was that oh it's like a birdhouse on the tree okay Ah, is this your equivalent of yellow paint now, is it? These little things. X. Mm. Now is that Linemore leaving a, a little message? Climb. Go and eat the poisonous mushroom and die! Oh, okay. That's some sort of sacrificial uh, pine cone there, is it? Okay. Okay, so we've got sort of, uh, not necessarily jump scares, but sort of startle events, and should we, should we call them? Okay, just so you know, I'm pushing to try and make them fall off the side. They're not falling off the side. It's just up and down. There's no balance technique needed there. Hang on. Whoa. Get off the tree trunk. Thank you. I wanted to go around here just in case there was something to walk back. No, there wasn't. I thought perhaps there would be something a little bit hidden down by there. If I move this over there now... You kind of see the direction that I'm going in. Ah, uh, that's one of those you cannot return slides. X. Okay. X. All right, so somebody's had a bite of an apple, stuck two pine cones next to each other. One's bigger than the other one, representing the sister and the brother, perhaps, because of the way that he measured his height and then stood on his tiptoes. As in, we're letting you know my sister is taller than me. Okay, thank you. So the pine cones can actually tell a tale, provided somebody manipulates them with little twigs. Excellent. Nice little automatic up the ladder there. No need to press buttons. Oh, look out. Matches in a forest. Right, let's rotate this to see if it says that we're death or something anywhere. Right. Okay. Ah, we've taken it. We don't we don't put it back down then. So there's no coal. Let's take the matches. Rotate. Empty matches. Oop. All over the floor. That did not sound like matches landed on the floor then, did it? Aha, because it was a key. So the whole point of the other box was to show that you could tip things out of a matchbox, right. Got it. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's go back inside just a second. So the whole thing was to get a key out of the matchbox so you could open the door, even though he could get a stool by there and climb through that gap. Right. But we'll just pause for a second. Um, the, the sound is so subtle. The sound is really nice on this. I, I'm liking it visually. Somewhat slightly too cartoony, Pinocchio-y kind of looking boy. But the forest itself, very nicely detailed. The lighting is, is great. Atmospherics, spot on, I think. All right, so... Let's go. All right, just to let you know that there are big enemies or possibly enemies. Uh -huh. But what's over here? I want to know. Because it showed you Ah, falling to my death. So is this a secret then? I can't work out with it. Is that a witch or is it his sister? When you get these two paths, like, like you know, forward or left or whatever, it's hard sometimes to know which is the correct path. Now, this could be the correct path and the other path was the secret, or this is the secret and the other path was the correct path. Follow on with the journey. We shall see. A light in the dark. A symbol of hope. Spark of courage. Been around, right? Okay, so should we assume that that was a secret or? Would we have gotten somewhere which would have required us to get that symbol of hope? Let's just double check down here. Right, you can't can't visually look at where you came from, okay. Right. A straight up and climb, no need to press any buttons. I like that. I'm not sure if you're able to pick it up, but it's quite it's like to the left as if somebody in over there is making that cat screech. Investigated closely. A 
Let us play, little brother. Lillamore bubbled. See if you can knock down this pine cone. Right, left trigger. Aim. Throw. Donk. Oh, I'll pick it up then, shall I? Fucking hell. Lazy cow. Patronize me. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Time that a bit better than we. This is fucking hell. Alright, what am I what am I supposed to be doing? Right. Okay. How am I supposed to know which way she's fucking throwing it? I know you got like a circle which gives you the, the window of, of opportunity, but you have to throw it at her face now, is it? Oh no, she's gonna fall to her death! Is this where we get the logo now? Well, I guess not then. Together, they tumbled down deeper and deeper through the old room. Ooh, me arse! Follow me, little brother. I will protect you, Lila Moore said. She was never scared like him. Ule wished he could be a little more like his sister. Ule. Lilimur loved adventures, and Ule loved Lilimur. Ule, Lilimur. Ule, Lilimur. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Stupid. Jump, jump, leap and bound. Try again. It's better. On top of a pizza. Off. Oh, lucky save there. Literally just spin round on the spot. There's nothing gonna make this person topple. 
none of those kind of mechanics. Oh, we have far too much. Right, I'm confused now. Have they somehow traversed into some land of the giants? Or uh, do they have apples that big normally out there then? Was that it? Oh, I thought there was going to be some sort of So it wasn't a bird box I saw earlier then. It was fairy hole. Ah, the camera's panning me over there, whereas I wanted to go over here. Very push linear, isn't it? Die. Death awaits you. L button crouch. Ah, you should be able to. <laughs> you should be able to climb the rope then, would you? Rotate. So it can only go like, why would you choose to wear a hat like that? can't go back that way then so it's very I'm not saying it's on rails but it's a bit gnomes are peculiar and playful creatures they live peacefully in daylight and keep in their houses at night visitors that don't want to eat them were unheard of until this day Visitors that don't want to eat them. Okay, so let's see what we can find or do or say or anything at all. No. You can't interact with anything then. You could just look at somebody snoring. Okay. And they've got a pet hedgehog up there. Nice cutesy little uh, music going on there. So somebody's having a shit. It's a call to arms. Right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it there. Nice little uh, Q 
cutesy little arrangement going on there of the of the gnomes. Uh, but this is all right. It's quite pleasant. I'll probably pursue another maybe an hour's worth of, of gaming of it um, and then decide, see what happens. Uh, a little bit off-putting at the start with the, the snowflake warnings with regards to infanticide and things like that. It's like kind of spoilerish. Um, not needed. I'm getting really sort of bored now with this telling me how I'm supposed to feel about stuff. Um, how I'm supposed to decide what's right and wrong. Well, I am supposed to decide what's right and wrong, but I'm not supposed to have you telling me that the, a decision has been made to warn me about it. I'm not sure if that makes sense. Either way, this is quite nice. It's quite atmospheric. It seems to be quite well done. Longevity, I don't know. I mean, I've made it this far. Yeah, it was a good half hour's worth of play there. Uh, it seems quite nice. I don't I don't like it when they do that. Not much going on, but make you feel like there's a lot going on by having you go back to things that you think have got uh, something new to them. Like when I opened up the book. Like I opened up the matchbox and I, you know, you walk away and you go to the bookshelf, you play with the soldiers, you walk away. Um, I go to the book, I read it, I walk away, but then the book stays highlighted as if something had changed or something else had, you know, uh, unless there was something that changed and I just didn't notice. Um, anyway, by the way, the video's going to end now. This is, yeah, it's quite nice, quite cutesy, little possible puzzly type game. I don't know. I shall see. Um... Try it out for yourselves. And with that, the video is going to end. And I am going to say goodbye.